Space Concordia's Robotics Division is a multidisciplinary group of students from Concordia University in Montreal, Canada. We are excited to unveil our newest rover, Astro. The team used a wide variety of processes to manufacture the rover. Conventional mills and lathes were used for most custom parts. CNC machines were used for more complicated geometries. Finally, laser cutting was used for the plates. The suspension is composed of three rotating bogies. This removes the need of a differential and has proven to be more effective than other variants. The wheel has been designed to allow the motor to be enclosed within for protection. It contains polyurethane beach tires due to their performance in sandy terrain. The Aerospace Robotics Laboratory in Concordia University has proven to be an invaluable resource in testing the wheel's traction capabilities. The arm has five degrees of freedom and is made with aluminum plates for ease of manufacturing and assembly. It features warm gears to retain its position when not driven, and timing belts are also used to reduce torque requirements. The gripper has 360 degree rolling motion. Many different gripper geometries have been tested and a two finger parallel mechanism was chosen. Stepper motors are used for accuracy while servo motors are favored for the gripper to reduce weight. The battery consists of 56 lithium ion cells that distribute power to all onboard components. A power distribution system allows of tracking of current and temperature values. A battery management system monitors voltage values within the battery pack. All electronics are within an enclosure that allows for easy sliding of components into place. It has integrated dust and sand protection, as well as temperature regulation. RF communications use a digital radio module with MIMO functionality on the 900 MHz band, paired with a high-performance dual-polarity Yagi antenna and two perpendicularly positioned Omni antennas on the rover. The current setup facilitates high definition video feed and the exchange of other feedback information and control instructions. Ground controls allow the operator to view information such as rover pan and tilt, GPS, camera feed, as well as other health and performance stats of onboard systems. The rover is controlled either on a web interface or with a physical controller. Onboard motor controls are closed loop and programmed on TNC 3.6. Command and encoder data are transferred between the rover and base station over the ROS network. For the autonomous traversal task, a LiDAR allows for mapping of up to 25 meters of the terrain. Moreover, OpenCV is used for tennis ball detection. The rover analyzes for two distinct biomarkers, nitrates and lipids. For nitrate, a KCL solution acts as extraction solvent and grease reagent is indicated. For nitrate, a KCL solution acts as extraction solvent and grease reagent is indicated. An auger and a power screw mechanism drills and places soil into separate test tubes. The drill allows for storage of up to 12 soil samples and moves their locations with a limit switch and motor combination. Once in the test tube, a custom-made spectrophotometer will identify the presence of selected biomarkers in the soil. 